Hello friends, Frankie here. If you're in Japan in the spring and you happen to miss cherry blossoms, you could just go up north because they bloom later there, but there are so many other spring flowers you can enjoy as well. You've got tulips, poppies, nemophila, azalea, and wisteria all start to bloom soon after sakura. So today we're in Nara Prefecture to enjoy some wisteria at the Kasuga Taisha Manyo Botanical Gardens. It was the perfect spring day in mid-April. I'll have some information about this garden linked below. Wisteria usually blooms from mid-April and it can go as late as mid-May, but obviously that depends on the weather. The Manyo Botanical Gardens are a great place to see them because they have a mix of early, mid, and late blooming types, so you have a pretty good chance of seeing something in full bloom. In Japanese, wisteria is called Fuji. The most common variety is a really pretty purple color, but they also come in white, yellow, and pink. There might be more colors too, but those are the ones that I've seen. You can also find more wild wisteria in the mountains during this time of year as well. Did you know that wisteria could be considered an invasive species? It's because the vines climb other trees, shrubs, buildings, basically anything the vine can wrap itself around. I wonder if that's why you often see them controlled like this in Japanese gardens. During specific seasons, and often with local delicacies as well, you can find interesting ice cream flavors in Japan. Outside of the gardens, there's a building across the parking lot with a little cafe that was selling wisteria soft cream. It had a light floral taste and was very good. The best part was obviously the pretty color. Also in the same vicinity, you can find Kasuga Taisha, a very important Shinto shrine for Nara. It was established in the year 768, during the brief time when Nara was the capital of Japan, and the main shrine is dedicated to the god responsible for protecting Nara city. It's a pretty big complex, and you can get around most of it for free, but there is a sacred inner area that costs about 5 bucks to enter. There's also some wisterias here, before you get into the paid part.
Within the complex, you can find various other small shrines dedicated to different things. I stopped at one for love and marriage, and I got one of those omikuji, fortunes, that reveal itself when you dip it in the water. Since I got good luck, I kept it this time, but that meant I had to carry around a piece of wet paper for a while while it was drying. Though the Manyo Botanical Gardens and Kasuga Taisha are a little far from Kintetsunata Station, about 20 minutes if you consider that far, on foot, it's definitely worth the few extra steps. There are buses though that stop here too. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this lovely spring day and see you again soon. This is where the party's at. It's a bee party.